How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can check the real battery health maximum capacity of your MacBook. And I say that because if you go ahead and open up your system settings and then you scroll down a little bit until you see battery and then right there at the top battery health and if you tap on the little eye you'll see the maximum capacity right here and in my case it is say 94%. But is it the real maximum capacity? Well, it's not. And I'm going to show you how you can get the real one and it's super easy and it just takes a few seconds. And this method is especially relevant if you have a slightly older MacBook like this case right here. And if we tap on battery health, you can see that it doesn't even show my maximum capacity anymore. I'm going to show you on both and you'll be surprised. Okay, but how are we going to actually calculate the maximum capacity of our MacBook? Well, it's super easy because we're going to use the battery cycles. That's right. And if we actually go ahead and open up this website, which is, as you can see, Apple support. So all this information comes straight from Apple. And I'm going to have this website right here in the description. You can see, and I have highlighted right here, that your battery is designed to retain up to 80% of its original charge capacity at its maximum cycle count. So at the maximum cycle count, 80% of the maximum capacity. Great. And how's that? What's the maximum cycle count? Of course, it varies depending on your MacBook model, but as you click here, it'll direct you to the section. And then you can see every single MacBook model. So in my case right here, this is a MacBook Air M1. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Okay, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. MacBook Air M1, this one right here. And as you can see, the maximum cycle count is 1,000. So 1,000 is the maximum cycle count. If you go up again, you can see right here, maximum cycle count, okay? So again, 1,000 is the maximum cycle count for my MacBook Air M1. So when it reaches 1,000 cycles, it means that my maximum capacity should be at 80%. So 1,000 cycles, 80%. Let's see if that's real. And we can easily see the battery cycle count by going here to the Apple logo and then about this Mac and then more info. And then we're actually gonna need to scroll all the way down and system report, as you can see right there. And then we're gonna go to power. And right here we have cycle count 139. So 139 is a cycle count of this battery of this MacBook. So let's do some math and let's see my actual maximum capacity. So I don't wanna bore you with the math, so I'm gonna have the formula right here on the screen and in the description as well. So all you have to do is get your cycle count, so 139, in my case, of course, so get yours, multiply by 20 and then divide by 1000. So in this case, it means that I have lost 2.78 percent of my maximum capacity. So I've lost 2.78. That number minus 100, of course it'll be negative, but you can make it positive. It means that my actual maximum capacity is 97.22. So it's 97.22 on this computer. And as you saw, it was showing me a slightly lower number. So it was showing me before 94. And this makes sense because just 100 and something cycles showing me 94 is way too low. So as you can see, the correct one is 97% on this computer. But remember that I showed you my older Mac? Well, let me show you the results on that. So my older Mac is a MacBook Air 2019. That's the model right here. So again, the maximum cycle count is 1000, same story. And if we get it, back here to the camera, you'll see that my cycle count is 451, okay? So 451 right here on this Mac. 451 is not even half, which would be 500 of the maximum cycle count. So this means that we're actually talking about something a little bit over 90% of maximum capacity. So as you can see, this will vary a little bit depending on your Mac. Sometimes your maximum capacity will be higher than usual. Sometimes it'll be lower than usual, but generally it's wrong. Generally it's a fake number. 
generally it's not correct but if you check your battery cycle count right here as i showed you that doesn't lie you can see the charging cycles they don't lie they don't change they're clear as day and then now you know how to check your real maximum capacity on your macbook okay so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video as usual bye bye guys